Hi guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, I am excited to be back. I wanted to come on here. I've been off of social media a majority of this month and I've done this a few times before. Uh, this is the first time I really have done it on my own accord, like for myself, and it has just been fantastic. So I felt like though it's not fair to just leave and then not really explain um, either why I left or kind of what I learned in the time of taking the social media break and kind of a refocus going forward and updating you guys on that. So I'm really excited for you guys to watch this, for us to have conversation on social media, on mental health, um, especially in the time of, I know a lot of you are social distancing and staying home. Um, and I'm doing that to somewhat of a degree, but there's a couple things obviously that you can't make a decision as easily. But I, I understand kind of right now in this season there can be a lot of fear, a lot of loneliness, and I want to start by encouraging you because especially for those of you who are watching who are believers, like you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to be worried about, um, and, and God's got it. And I know that's easy to say and harder to believe, but I really encourage you to not have fear in this season and to not... Um, to be educated, but to not fill your mind constantly with things that concern you or scare you um, or things of that nature because God's got it. And I have just, I've seen him in the season of, of taking some time away, of having time to myself. And I feel really good about the fact that the Lord has this in his hands and there's really nothing to worry about. Before I begin though, I do need to thank my sponsor of the video, is Spoonful Apparel. So you guys probably saw me in the I Choose Happiness sweatshirt last month um, on my last video that I did. Um, I also have the, should have had these laid out better, Let Love Rule t-shirt. And then I have the woman tank top. And I liked that print so much that I got it in the sweatshirt as well. And today I'm wearing their new design, which is the Lionhearted Tee. If you don't know about Spoonful Apparel, basically the reason that I'm, I'm so happy to work alongside them is number one, they're pleasant to work with, but also they give back to children in need, children who are hungry. Um, and when you buy a Spoonful Apparel item, you're helping actually give back to a uh, organization stopping childhood hunger that is local to you. So she actually researches where the customer is from and finds a food bank or an organization ending childhood hunger near your home, near your community, right. helping those in need, especially in the time of the coronavirus. And I really encourage you guys to check out, I'll have a few links below, um, and you can see what Spoonful Apparel is all about and go buy any of their products, but especially their new Lionhearted t-shirt. I just love the design of it. I love the print of it. I love everything about it. And I'm not usually super into t-shirts, but their t-shirts and their sweatshirts are so comfortable. And that's, again, perfect for when we're inside and trying to stay comfy. Now we can jump into the main point of the video, uh, which is to explain to you guys why I took a social media break, why I encourage you to, what I learned, and kind of where I'm going coming out of it. So uh, one of the main reasons I took a break from social media is that I've just been feeling very overwhelmed lately, uh, especially um, after Christmas. This is gonna sound really, really weird, but I was in the top five for fashion bloggers in the Twin Cities. And because of that, I was I was honored, but I was also really overwhelmed because I started to feel like, well, now everything has to be perfect. And if anything is wrong, if anything is wrong with, with the outfit that I style, if anything is wrong with the location or the backdrop, if anything is wrong with how I look, I mean, these are literally things I was, I was thinking and saying and believing and my whole life became a brand and I didn't want my life to be a brand anymore. And that maybe sounds silly, but to understand, I have been blogging for five and a half years. It was actually gonna be six years in May and it's hard to get out of a rhythm 
that you're really, really used to. And it's hard to get out of habits that you formed over a five year period. And I'll be 25 in June. So that's a fifth of my life that has revolved around this. And the thing that I really realized uh, going forward from December was that was something that a lot of people talk with me about. It wasn't only the conversations I was having with people in real life that I knew that were all centered around this, but it was all of my focus and my energy and my thoughts were about who I could collaborate with next and and what I could do. And I kind of um, mentioned that in my last video, how I pulled back on who I collaborated with and being really intentional but I think I was just growing really overwhelmed. And I was worrying about all these things, and I wouldn't say it's for nothing, but it really wasn't amounting to much. It wasn't, it wasn't changing my life in the way that I desired for it to change. It wasn't really making me a better person. It was making me more judgmental of people around me. It was giving me anxiety, um, and there was a lot of other things I learned once I finally stepped back, but I was at a message at the Grove. I went to a service there on the night of March 1st, and I'd been wondering about like, I kind of felt prompted by the Lord to give up social media for a time, but on March 1st, God was like, it's time, like today is the day, and I didn't know how long it was going to be, and um, that's, that's the joy of God, is that you can cast your anxieties before Him, because it wasn't deleting the app that was tough for me. It wasn't um, getting rid of the thing that made me anxious that was tough for me. It was, okay, Lord, like I have all these collaborations. I have all these businesses I work with. How am I going to fulfill their needs and fulfill what I'm being paid and given content or uh, given like product for? How am I gonna fulfill that, those promises, if you have me off of this? And the Lord was really gentle about it and really revealed to me it would be a 21 day thing so it wouldn't even be a month and I wouldn't have to have fear and I could enjoy the time that I took off uh, during this fast. So one of the things I said earlier is that I was getting very, very anxious and I was thinking about um, social media and posting and just having everything be perfect. and. Uh, it just got very overwhelming. So I quickly realized that it's not realistic to fully go off of social media for me. There are some people who that is like completely realistic for and they will never go back on again. But I realized that God has given me a platform um, in this space to, to be able to speak truth to people, to be able to help people. And so I was like, well, I don't feel as if the Lord is asking me to like fully step away. So the only answer then is to have boundaries in regards to social media. And as I said, it was just getting overwhelming. I was thinking about the content I was creating. I was thinking about captions. I was thinking about how much I had to comment or, you know, have conversation with people. And it became um, no boundaries. And so in this time, it was really important to to bring that back in and create boundaries around it. So some of the boundaries that I've been creating is I turned off all notifications. Um, I still have the, I brought the apps back onto my phone, but I turned off all the notifications so that I can just go about my day and it's not, oh, this person sent me a message so I need to go respond to them now. Like most of the things that are happening online are not I don't need to jump and, and go answer them right away, but I was doing it because it was out of habit. So I'm trying to rewire kind of how my mind works and what my habits are as well. Another thing that I did now coming back from it, so I guess this, and maybe all the points will be a little bit of a mixture of what I learned and kind of where I am going forward. I actually immediately got, Instagram is the one that's the hardest one for me. And when I came back on, I immediately like unfollowed 500 accounts, not because they're bad or they, you know, are horrible influences to me, but just because I don't interact with them. I don't interact with them. They're not in my day-to-day -day life. They're not business owners I talk to. They're not companies I work with. They're not um, even companies I really have affiliation with. It's just that we have the same ideas about sustainability and ethical creation, which is awesome, but they're not doing anything for me. 
And the same thing went for people in the blogging community. Like if I feel a real connection to people, obviously a lot of the local bloggers, like you guys are good, but um, if I don't really feel a connection to you and I felt like I was just following you because you're a blogger and I'm a blogger and wanting to support, but I don't really ever watch your stories or feel involved in your life, like it was just easy. And it's kind of crazy to say, but you know when you start like kind of deleting or like unfollowing and then it just the first couple you're like I feel so bad and you want to like have reasoning around it and by like number 500 you're like you're out <laughs> you, just, you just click unfollow so much easier and it's really been nice because it's less content to take in it's less content like useless content that isn't adding anything to me um and to my thinking to my life to my learning and it's just nice to to have less people to keep up with, you know? Cause I don't think we were ever meant to keep up with this many people at one time. Another thing it really showed me being away is how much richer my time with my friends were. Because number one, they could actually update me on their lives. It wasn't like, oh, I saw you did this, or oh yeah, I already know about that. Like I've seen pictures. It was, hey, did I tell you that I did this? And I would say no, cause I had not seen it. And it really helped with, with my friendships and with my time with my friends and really being more purposeful and I love that. And at the same time, it also kind of showed me who, who notices when you're gone. And I think we all want to believe like, oh, my friends would totally notice like if I wasn't on social media or like the people that I admired will definitely notice if I'm not there. But truthfully, it did show me like who who is my support team? Who notices when I'm away? Who checks in on me? And it wasn't something to like garner um, like attention for, but it was interesting how it played out just who ended up reaching out, who ended up texting me, who ended up calling me, and how we use social media as a convenience with our friendships to either keep up friendships that maybe aren't working anymore, and it's just easier to to have a conversation assuming that other people already have seen what you've posted or on the same page as you it really enriches friendships in a different way when you haven't seen each other and you have to update one another major major final thing that being away from social media showed me is how bad um, kind of my self-image was and it wasn't I think a lot of people hear that and they're like well of course like there's Instagram models and like fitness bloggers and like the Kardashians like how could you feel good about yourself it's kind of that age-old like I look at magazines and I don't feel pretty but it's really not that the issue is more so that I you become very self-absorbed like all my content was about me uh, every picture had me in it and so you start to in a minute um, like really detailed way start to go Oh, I don't like when I pose like that. I don't like how my body looks here. I don't like how my makeup looks. I don't like how my hair looks. I don't like that my nose looks this way when I turn this way and this way when I turn this way. Like, and you just, five and a half years of that is, is, makes you very self-absorbed, makes you very um, self-conscious. And it was just a lot to be able to step back for 21 days, have no makeup, have wear sweatpants every day, and and not really care, um, that was a blessing in itself. And that was a blessing to be able to step back and go, okay, what do I want? What am I creating content for? What do I want to portray? Because if it's just about me, and it's just about how far I can get, that's wildly selfish and it really opened my eyes to maybe I don't want to blog maybe my main focus isn't going to be clothing anymore maybe my main focus is not going to be me and it helped me reevaluate going forward what I want this to be I don't want it to be useless content I don't want it to just be filler I don't want it to be clothing I don't want it to be how I'm feeling all the time I just, I want to have something that represents my life. I want to look back on and not think about how 
how I felt when I took that photo and I hated that jacket and like I want to look back and have memories and I think that's really what social media began as was almost like a social scrapbook and you just shared about your life you just shared about day-to-day -day things and the people that you loved and you know, if social media is still around when I'm like 90 years old, I want to look back and see that I had all these incredible memories with people. I want to take pictures of things that like actually matter in day-to-day -day life. I want to, I don't know, I just, I want to glorify the Lord. I want to do more videos where I'm teaching on things that actually matter to me and have it be less about building a brand like my whole life became a brand I became a brand and when you start viewing yourself as a brand there's no margin for humanness there's no margin for imperfections there's no margin um, for creativity really and so that was something that I really realized is like I'd kind of become a robot after five years I mean this is how crazy like self-centered this can be. This morning it took me an hour and a half to look like this between makeup and hair and clothing and setting things up and to spend an hour and a half on myself is just absolutely wild. It's wasted time and I'm just, as I said, I'm like sick of just, just it being about me and I'll probably say that like a hundred more times in this video but that's one of the greatest things I learned is that it doesn't have to be about me and in fact it's better if it's not. So in terms of moving forward, I think that you will see a big transition happening pretty soon. Um, my goal is to have basically as much figured out as I can by the time I hit my six year mark in May um, and that's in about like the middle of the month. So I probably will be changing the name uh, a lot of people ask me where sweltering sweater came from and truthfully it was just something that sounded nice that I put together when I was 18 years old and I want something that is a little more sophisticated, something more relevant and something um, maybe even a little more me <laughs> and I don't know, I don't foresee it being my name as the name of whatever I'm creating but I think the name will definitely be changing and I want to switch as I said from from being a brand in a person to having kind of a social media scrapbook. I want to have pictures of my friends. I want to like try new things. I want to interview people. I got Yeti microphones for Black Friday and I want to interview people who I think are interesting and people who are groundbreaking and I don't want to be boxed into one subject. I want to uh, I don't know, I just want to look back when I'm 90 years old and I want to, if socials are still around, and I want to say that, you know, I lived a full life and I documented it and I made a difference and I've also been talking a lot lately about branching out in faith and talking more about, you know, here's what I'm learning in the Word today or like here's a quick Thursday thought on this topic and like here are some verses that I'm seeing regarding it and I want to be able to have the freedom to do that and not be held down to, you know, again, one subject, one idea. And, you know, I want to do public speaking at some point. I would love to do that. I would love to be teaching people and I don't know, there's just so many things I'd love to be able to do and I feel like the way I was going before was going to box me into being able to teach one thing or learn about one thing or talk about one thing and now I feel complete freedom to talk and teach and do whatever I would like to do so I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see how it makes me view myself and others and I don't know guys I'm just really excited it's like the first time in five and a half years that I've really truly gone through and been like what do I want to be known for? What do I want my life to be about? And it's just I'm going into a new season in the the 25 plus group, the close to 30 group and I just feel like it was it was really time to transition out of an 18 year old way of thinking and go into a new year as a new person. <laughs> and. Um, just a new season of life 
and have something fresh. So I hope that this helps you in some way. I hope that you guys, if you have any questions about how to create boundaries with social media, how to use it in a healthy way, or if you yourself have suggestions of ways that you created boundaries or ways that you um, do little fasts here and there, because I know I did one last year and I did another one obviously again this year and it's been awesome every time. So if you are somebody who does social media fasts, if you are somebody who has completely transitioned from being a brand and a blogger and an influencer to kind of just going and, and doing your own content and doing whatever you want, I would love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, I just want to catch up with you guys. So leave some comments down below and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and thank you again to Spoonful Apparel for sponsoring this post. I will see you guys very soon.